guys, welcome to Watch Autumn Keto. I'm Autumn. I'm Amber. And today we are coming to you with a Twinergy Motivation Monday. Oh. Hello, motivation on a Monday. Motivation on a Monday. I did not sign up for this. Motivation on a Monday on a... Booyaka, 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 booyaka. No. It will get better, y'all. Bear but, with us. No. Motivation. No, no, no. no. <laughs> hey, we cut some... Rep. Oh my gosh. Let's rep our morning routines. That's what we're talking all about today. We are talking about the importance of and our personal morning routines or what I like to say morning ritual, right? It's a ritual. Yes, because think about it this way. A routine is just a series of activities that need to be done, like no matter their importance. Uh, they're, okay. they're just a list of things that have to be done. A ritual, on the other hand, is a, a series of things that you intentionally do that you place more meaning behind than simply just doing stuff because they got to be done okay you wake up you make your bed you take a shower you brush your teeth because those are all things that have to be done mm -hmm. right they're, they're just have to be done they're part of your routine right but a ritual is when you intentionally set aside time to do some activities and you give them more meaning right so we're talking about a if you don't have one of those maybe you want to get one you know you want to get one yeah and then b we're going to be talking about what we do because we also have morning rituals but before we tell you about ours we're waiting go ahead and get in the comments and share with us your morning ritual we need details because everybody's morning is different do you have one if not tell us about the morning ritual you wish you had so you can maybe start implementing that here so we want to hear your morning rituals the deets yes yeah, so get in the comments and let us know down below first of all the i think the importance of a morning ritual or just taking some time for yourself in the morning like whatever you want to call it right we've always been big advocates of waking up at least 30 minutes or an hour earlier than you have to mm -hmm. you know then you know waking up just to get ready to start your routine so waking up just in time to take a shower to brush your teeth to get dressed right like and then get right out the door maybe feed the kids make lunches and things like that right before you know it you are out the door or you are on the computer about to work and you look up and 10 hours has gone by and like you didn't have control over your day like you didn't set out to do anything specific with your day because you woke up just in time to hit the ground running She's telling my former story, I tell you what. Exactly, but what we recommend, wake up 30 minutes to an hour and maybe use that, it's just you time, okay? You time. Don't wake up the kids, don't wake up your boyfriend, girlfriend, spouse, your roommate, your dogs, like make it your quiet time. And during that quiet time, you can do whatever you want. You can exercise, you can read. Now we don't mean like watch TV or something like that. We mean productive, Yes. you know? But like you can do, uh, affirmations that's the word i'm looking for devotionals mm -hmm. you can literally meditate mm -hmm. it's what you would like to do with the time but it's all intentional time it's the fact that you planned this time to do nothing but what you're doing in that moment so it's really just about being super present and how we can go through our lives days and weeks and months can pass without us having to be intentionally present and aware in a particular moment once we get settled into our day-to-day -day life but to block out a certain amount of time before the world starts kind of before you start interacting with others as your time and just to appreciate and absorb that like real time that's super valuable and it just gives you a new level of like control yeah. and awareness over your time that in my opinion, becomes addictive. And like the, the more control you have, they like setting aside that time, being intentional, you know, now you want control of all your time. You yeah. no longer just want to mindlessly go through your day and, and look up and it'd be nine o'clock at night and be like, where did my day go? You know, yeah. it makes you want to focus on what you're doing throughout the day and why it's important. And what you'll notice is like a lot of the stuff you're doing during the day isn't that important. Mm. So <laughs> with mm. that being said, we recommend just 30 minutes to an hour. Yeah, what's, what's your morning routine? Ritual. 
What's your morning ritual? Thank you. Okay, so what I do in the morning, as soon as I wake up, first of all, before I even get out of bed, we were reading a book or something and they were talking about, or watching a YouTube video, like a motivational YouTube video. I think it was the book. Oh, it was a book, okay. So we're reading a book where they were talking about just the discipline that it takes to get out of bed. Because okay. when you first open your eyes, all you wanna do is just close them back again. Your bed's comfortable, it's warm, the rest feels good, you know? But you know that you need to get up and start accomplishing stuff, right? So uh, they recommended, or, or what this person said that they did was just repeat over and over to themselves 50 times. They literally counted, like, do it now, you know? Like, it was just do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now, do it now. And that just like rev them up to get out of bed, right? And so most mornings when I wake up, when I feel that immediate, like, oh, I really don't want to get out of bed, I just do it now, do it now, do it now. Then I start to laugh because it's ridiculous and that makes me want to get up. I love that. Thank you. I know, right? So just, you know, know that it's normal to like not want to get out of bed and want to stay comfortable. But what separates the doers, us, from the non-doers is then... that we do it anyway you know and so just do it now and then i come to my office and i will watch maybe a 10 to 15 minute meditation or affirmation video so like a guided affirmation where they're like good morning repeat after me today will be a great day and i just have my headphones on and i'm all like today will be a great day so i do that like 10 to 15 minutes i have a goal statement on my vision board like I, I wrote up my goal for the year and i read that out loud every single day i read what my goal is and then i have abundance affirmations that remind me that there is plenty and some to spare there's Come enough for all of us out here right and then i actually printed out pictures like photographs of various goals that I want to achieve. I printed out a picture of New York City because I want to go on a vacation to New York City. I printed out a picture of an awesome dream house with like a pool in the backyard because I was like, ooh, that's, like, that's the sort of house I want to have. And so mm -hmm. I spend time looking at these images and visualizing these images and saying out loud, I'm grateful for my trip to New York. I'm grateful for my dream house. Like, and I do that for, you know, 10 to 15 minutes and after that, you just get pumped. You're like, you get excited. Like, I'm going to New York. I'm going to Paris. I have a dream house with a pool in the backyard, you guys. So, like, it gets you excited and happy and grateful. And then that's when I start the day. I'll, I'll start exercising or I'll, you know, editing videos. Then I'll start work, really. But that morning time, that quiet time, is just for me. Her ritual puts ours to shame, doesn't it? I mean... What is your ritual? <laughs> Ooh, silence. I know. Um, I really, I've been, I'm in a transition season as far as where I lay my That's head at true. night. So I <laughs> haven't really got reestablished into my morning ritual, but I will speak into existence what my morning ritual will be. Is so she said like 30 minutes to an hour earlier before you have to start your day. And like she said though, once you start experiencing how like amazing it is, that 30 minutes will creep up to an hour, will creep up to an hour and a half because you're just so productive and you're choosing to intentionally focus on you and bettering yourself that you want to prioritize that in the day. So I'll definitely say at least getting up um, 90 minutes. So I'm, I'm more of like a two hour, um, you know, 5 a.m. or and I don't have to be at work until maybe 9 or 10. So I have plenty of time in the morning. I like to do my devotional. I like to make me a cup of coffee or tea. Um, I like to read whatever book that I'm reading at that time. So I like to do like Jesus time as far as devotional. Then I like to do like reading as far as whatever I'm happening to be reading. Something warm to drink. Um, and then I do like to do some affirmations, so some guided affirmations of intentional time. I want to get better as far as printing pictures out and looking at them and receiving those in with my eyes and just visualizing. visualizing. Yeah. I want to get better at that. So that's something I'm going to actively um, commit to getting better at ASAP. So always adjust and adapt your ritual just because it's one way maybe something else needs to come into play and something else i need to fall back a little bit so cycle through wherever season you are in your life but having a morning ritual is clutch for success 
And also, you know, like add on. Like you don't have to like do all eight of these things like your first time out, you know? Maybe yeah. just wake up early enough to watch a 10 minute, you know, YouTube affirmation video. And you know what? I'll go ahead and put some of my favorite affirmation videos in the description mm -hmm. so you guys can literally see what I'm listening to uh, every morning. So like maybe just wake up 10 to 15 minutes earlier and then it might inspire you to write your own list. And so you have to wake up 15 minutes earlier to do that. And you know, like you can add on, there's no right or wrong way. It's just the, the best way is to actually have something. So the purpose of these motivation Mondays is to give you some tips, things that we do in our real life to help you be the best version of you, because that is the goal of what Twinergy is all about, mm -hmm. helping you find your best self. And realizing that it's pretty much there the whole time. It just takes certain tools and strategies to achieve that. And don't forget, it's all about you. It's yeah. not about comparing yourself to anyone else, but it is about learning from the experiences of others so that you can find the best you. We can be more same or different than any, I mean, two we people really shared the womb. We've known each other since there was life, but we don't compare ourselves to how each of us go about doing things because it's so drastically different. But what we do is learn from each other, how each other does certain things and then add those and adopt those into our life to make our lives better. It's a twin twin. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a win win, but with a T in front. It's a twin. I got it. I didn't know she was going to say that. That's clever. I just, it just boom, right in the head. I love it. See, we're so clever. Okay. But what we want to know is, do you have a morning ritual? Do you set some time aside for yourself intentionally? And if you don't, does it sound like something that you think you would benefit from? And what would you do if you were to have a morning ritual? So leave us a comment down below. I'll be and let us through know. the comments. Like yeah. I'm in the comments, like, just weeding through it. Yeah, unfortunately, not. my sister's gonna be there. So if you write something, uh, she gonna write you back. Come on, y'all, yeah. talk to talk to me. No, absolutely, yes, absolutely, talk to her. But we really want to know because yeah. once again, we do certain things that we you might, might not discover do. a nugget ourselves. But you comment. might be doing things help like, us. Wow, help us. Oh, uh, we need to do that too because once again, it's all about learning from the experience of others. Let's go. Let's right? be better, y'all. Let's yeah, go. Let's be better in it's 2021. Monday. Man. It's, it's Monday, it's 2021, let's be better. Yeah, enough said. Thank you, Again. yeah, enough said. Okay guys, thanks so much for joining us on this Motivation Monday. We can't wait to hear all about your morning Motivation routine. on a Monday, motivation We're definitely gonna have to work, Monday, no, we're gonna have to work on the theme song. No. On a Monday, oh God, there's a body roll, no. and a shotgun. On a Monday. No, that's, yeah, we're. Booyaka, booyaka, booyaka. We're gonna be working on the theme song to Motivation Monday. Y'all just get ready to go hard. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay. But don't forget, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video with someone that you know either has an awesome morning routine or needs an awesome morning routine. Okay? You know somebody who needs a routine. Yeah, absolutely. It could be, is it you? Is it you? No, absolutely. Is it you? Okay, we gotta go. Apparently she's just, some songs are, are in there. We need them to, we need them to stay in there. Yeah. Have a great week and we're gonna see you next week on Motivation Monday. Bye.